Hello world, my name is Matt Lundgren and I'm an associate professor of radiology and the co-director of the Stanford Center for Artificial Intelligence and Medicine and Imaging. We're so happy to have you all here to join us today. My name is Serena Young and I'm an assistant professor of biomedical data science and an associate director of data science for the Center for Artificial Intelligence and Medicine and Imaging. We're both very excited to be here with you all today and for the opportunity to host this conference. And judging from the overwhelming response from people all over the world, we have over 3,500 registered. We know that your enthusiasm is shared with us as well. In fact, there was a, there was a comment on social media that, that uh, came right after we announced this meeting uh, where uh, they said something to the effect of they couldn't believe that all their machine learning heroes were speaking at one conference. And we, we agree 100% with that sentiment, and that was definitely one of our goals in gathering this group together today. Uh, but probably one of the biggest questions on everyone's mind as we get ready to kick off the symposium uh, is what is this conference about? Yeah, in other words, I mean, we know there's many other AI conferences out there, and then there's specialty healthcare conferences that have AI content, and they're practically everywhere. I mean, there's symposiums and summits and webinars and tweet chats and Probably some medical AI TikToks are out there somewhere. And so the question is, what could there be possibly to say now that hasn't already been said? And, and to be honest, I asked the same question when the idea of hosting the symposium came up. Um, but it was important to us to identify a purpose for the symposium and to really guide our collective thinking today as we gathered all these leaders together. And I think the answer to this question uh, of purpose lies in a concept known as emergence. Now, there's a couple meetings here. The first, of course, is that this is the first official Stanford Amy Symposium, and that represents a true emergence to the broader community. For those of you out there who may not be familiar with, with our group or the work we do. But it's really the, the scientific definition of emergence uh, that we're referring to as our theme for today. Uh, and emergence in this context describes a field or a system that has properties together that its individual parts do not have on their own. And so in other words, uh, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Yeah, it, another term for this was made popular by the great E.O. Wilson in his 1998 book known as Consilience, the Unity of Knowledge. He described the concept of consilience, which is the synthesis of knowledge from different specialized fields coming together, the field of neuroscience is a great example of this. It's the emergent discipline composed of complex, important interactions of several other scientific disciplines like chemistry, physiology, and psychology. And so only by bringing the, the knowledge together of these disparate fields uh, towards a common purpose uh, could we really begin to truly understand and study neuroscience as a biologic phenomenon at the system level. And so like we hope to achieve today, consilience tends to arise when experts from different fields interact in an open discussion and dialogue and give equal weight to each perspective and relate them to each other and really focus on the broader themes that highlight why together these are greater than either alone. Uh, but just having a large number of interactions between individual disciplines is not enough by itself to guarantee that consilience will take place. And many of these interactions uh, may be negligible or irrelevant, or they may cancel each other out. Uh, and in fact, a large number of meaningless interactions can actually impede the emergence of new fields by creating a lot of noise that drowns out important emerging signal. And so Wilson argued that consilience must be carefully cultivated before it reaches enough critical mass to self-support and attain new important insights. And so it's not just the sheer number of connections between components which encourages consilience, um, it's also really how these connections are organized. And so with this concept of consilience in mind, we've intentionally assembled our panelists and topics and discussions today uh, to ensure meaningful interaction of important components of machine learning and of healthcare by experts from a variety of related fields, from computer science, machine learning, medicine, mathematics, policy, ethics, and more. Yeah, so this is our attempt, however brief, to push us towards consilience, really just an accumulation of specialized knowledge in multiple fields to address some complex but important healthcare applications and really aspire to this emergence of cl uh, clinical machine learning. So today's event is about cultivating these interactions amongst leaders and scientists and fields around points of contact that we believe will encourage the growth of these interdisciplinary collaborations. And our hope really is that this will be yet another step uh, leading to the combination of these great fields being greater than the individual components alone. 
And uh, the discussions today are going to include major principles and concepts like democratization, policy and regulation, technological advancements in education, uh, translation to practice, and principles such as ethics, fairness, and justice. Yeah, and we'll also be trying something relatively new in the Zoom era today. Uh, it'll be sort of like our halftime show, which is a speed networking event where those of you in the audience will be randomly assigned to Zoom breakout rooms for a more intimate chat to get to know some of the other attendees. Uh, I, I promise as long as the tech holds up, it's way more fun than it may sound at first. We've actually done this at a re recent hackathon and, and it was really fun. So I hope that gets you up to speed for today and kind of what we're gonna hope to do. Um, and I'll conclude my opening remarks uh, with a story that I think illustrates some of the challenges of applying some of these machine learning advancements uh, into the healthcare domain. There's a story that there's a, a car mechanic who was working in a shop one day and you know he's doing his thing, removing a cylinder head from a motor uh, and, and kind of repairing some of the parts. And, and he spotted a well-known heart surgeon who came in uh, to pick up her car after some repairs. And the heart surgeon was in the waiting in the lobby and, and, and the mechanic stopped and, and said, hey, hey doc, uh, come over here, take a look at this. And so the heart surgeon, was, she was a bit surprised. She walked over to the, where the mechanic was working on the car and the mechanic kind of straightened up, you know, wiped his hands on a rag, looked over and said, you know, doc, check this engine out. I opened its heart. I took out all the valves. I repaired all the damage. And then I put everything back together. And when I'm all done, it works just like new. So, you know, how come I'm able to do all this after just a few years of school, but you have to go to school for like 20 years and rack up all that debt just to basically do the same thing as I do. And so she kind of thought for a minute and looked back at him, smiled, and she said, okay, but try doing all that with the engine running. Um, all right, and so with that, let's get started with our symposium. Uh, a, a few quick logistics before our first speaker. Um, first, uh, please pose Q&A, post the Q&A for speakers in the chat room, uh, and please feel free also to upvote and to respond to the questions there. Um, if you don't see the chat on your screen, uh, the symposium logistics page has information on how you can access it. We probably won't be able to respond to all questions today, but we will be following the chat conversations and responding either today or uh, in our next AI happy hour. Um, as Matt mentioned earlier, we will have a speed networking breakout during the, the lunch break. Um, and so hopefully this should be a lot of fun and registered attendees were sent Zoom links this morning. Um, and then uh, recordings. Uh, so all talks are being recorded and they will be available in the coming weeks. Uh, we'll email the links to all registered attendees and we'll also post it uh, on our webpage. And uh, lastly, please use the hashtag Amy20, it's uh, A-I-M-I-20, uh, for social media posts that are related to this symposium. Mm -hmm.